a day to run this in Unity project and see how many issues it finds. I'm sure it's not going to be too... Oh, sh Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today I'm going to show you all about Unity's new project analyzer, which they've released, which is suitable for all versions of Unity 6. It's all about finding bottlenecks, performance issues, and problems with code, assets, shaders, and everything that's around your project. And all it is is a one-click solution to find everything you didn't want to see. And if you like the videos on the channel, be sure to throw a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed because it helps me out massively. So you can find this at the start if you go to Project Manager, which you can also find it in Window Project Manager. And if you click the top left and the little plus, which is the drop down, and if you install package by package name, and if you use com.unity.project-auditor, and it will install this package for you. It is beneficial to go to Edit Preferences, and then if you go to Analysis and Project Auditor, it's good to tick Use Rosalind Analyzers in case you have a problem with domain reload. In other cases, you can press Control R if you need to do domain reload, if you've installed an asset or anything to do with that. You can then navigate to Window Analysis and Project Auditor, and you will get a window which looks something like this, and it just welcomes you to the auditor, gives you a little explanation. You can start the analysis, select preferences, or you can reload an old version of this analysis. All you need to do to get this started is click on the button and give it about 300 years. No money messing. It's not too bad. So now when we've opened it up, you can see it's got a summary of my game here, and you can see the code issues, the asset issues, project settings, and it does give me a bunch of the top 10 issues in this project. Let's take the biggest problem here, the boxing allocation. If we click the little drop down, it will give a detail on exactly what this issue is and what recommendation it should show. And if at any point you don't understand the recommendation, you can click on for more details or go straight to the documentation to explain some of this, so it's really useful for that. And I will caveat by saying just because it suggests things here doesn't mean it always needs to be fixed. Do take these as a guide to understand and maybe learn things for the future. Now, if you do want to find out more about this, we can click on more details and it will take us to the code tab. And the code tab will show us all of the instances where this is an issue that we might want to fix. And each time you select any of these options in this list, it will open exactly where in your code editor these will appear and it make recommendations for each part when you click them and you can even ignore this if it's something that you don't want to have to optimize or it's something that you don't feel is relevant for your project and when you're on the code you can even do things like only show the critical issues that you might want to see either major or things that they would consider the most major and if you do hide any you can show hidden if that's appropriate for you you can navigate between the tabs on the left hand side which are the compiler messages or any of the domain reload issues that we might find but a lot of these pertain to bunches of assets that i've already got in my project remember back on the summary screen we had assets that had problems we can go to specific assets and you can see that you can look between textures sprite atlases meshes audio clips and any other versions of these that may have problems and you can go through each of these issues which have a lot of decompress on load suggestions and you can make the recommendation to set this to either compressed in memory or something which might make it more usable if you're really struggling with cpu performance across the board but again audio clips might not be something that's used all of the time that need to be worried about and you could do this with shaders project settings and other stuff which will give you suggestions on exactly what would be the best cases for optimizing different settings within your project. One thing you can look at is on the summary page in the additional insights, you can go to the build report and it will give you a general overview of exactly how much space on disk everything is taking up. As you can see, Texture2D in this case has the biggest files that you will find. And annoyingly, these don't update by size. You can't filter this but you can scroll down to find texture 2D in this list because we're in alphabetical order and you will be able to see some of the objects here. And I do hope they update this because it's a long list when you can't filter exactly by size to see which of these textures you may want to optimize in the future if you're running out of any memory. And if you don't have this go to build report option, you may well have to build out a game yourself by going file, build profiles and make a build and run to get this report available. 
and in the top corner you can see that you can save the report or load them if you'd previously saved them if you want to compare between two different instances of the same analysis that you've done. You can also check out the documentation page which I'll put down in the description and this has some light documentation on analysing common project issues, different programming and setting of the references and they're broken down into individual steps if you need to learn more. But I do recommend just messing around with it. But if you're like me, you press the X on this, sweep it under the carpet and pretend there was no issues at all. So I do hope this tool helps you and remember, do take it all with a grain of salt and use it to help you learn new things and make some optimizations for your project. Do check out all the links to Unity sales and everything down below because there's some great stuff at the minute. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons, special thank you to Peter Steiner, Very Shooter, Jennifer and David for their amazing support. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.